Well, there's been much double talk over the past week or so, especially with uh, President Jacob Zuma and the ANC uh, Secretary General Gwedi Mantash squirming and trying to spin their way out of this Kandla debacle. But the same thing could be said last week about Cyril Ramaphosa, the Deputy President, when he addressed the bi-local summit of Proudly South Africa. You know, I don't know how many of you still recall Proudly South Africa. It's that inexpensive and I think clearly unsuccessful organization that tends to blame the victims of social problems for their own problems. For example, Cyril Ramaphosa said, and I, I quote, that to buy local was, and I quote this, the silver bullet to challenge unemployment, inequality and poverty. Really? <laughs> what does this actually mean? It's only a slight variation on the tired and fundamentally dishonest cliches we've had from proudly South Africa all the way through. Blaming the victims. We don't buy local, therefore we're in trouble. Now the trade unions decried this attitude when proudly South Africa was launched in 2001. And they continue to decry this attitude because they were promised much more when Proudly South Africa was launched. They were promised that, above all else that it would not be a simple bi-local program, that it would help to improve the economic and social conditions of the population at large, and that it would also put pressure on the government to change its free market policies. One of the most important things the trade unions pushed for was that we would not trade with any country that did not adhere to the same standards, labor standards, in terms of wages and conditions as we do in South Africa. In other words, leveling the playing fields more or less. That was a forlorn hope, as I said at the time, by the trade unions, but they, they hung on in there. And for 15 years, this has dragged on. Now, belatedly, it appears that the union representatives on Proudly South Africa have finally said, enough already. We've had it. And they've called for an urgent meeting with the Minister of Trade and Industry, Rob Davies, to try and sort out what one of them called a mess. And it is a mess. It's something that has not worked. It's cost an awful lot of money, 60 million rand when they first launched it. Anyway, this is going to be the focus of my Inside Labour column this week, which you can access on this program tomorrow. And a version of which will appear in the business section of City Press on Sunday. Until then, it's up to you. Let's hear what you have to say about this. Give me your suggestions about how best we could deal with this, whether buy local is such a great idea. Why it does it mean that the victims are the ones who are once again being blamed for their own difficulties? Well, it's over to you. Send your suggestions, your comments, whatever, to editor at fin24.com. That's editor at fin24.com. And for this week, that's all from me. Cheers.